All right, guys, behind me, we have a super technical rock section. Nice. Beast it up. All right, guys, right here is one of my favorite little spots to kind of climb up and go through. And I've noticed I get a lot of pedal strikes with this bike. One of you guys mentioned that, and I have been experiencing that, and this is a little spot right here where I can really see how much it affects me. Did you guys hear that pedal strike? If you're not good at modulating the pedals, you definitely will get some pedal strikes on this bike. This bike is pretty awesome at climbing so far, I will admit. Pedal strikes are an issue, but you can avoid it by learning how to modulate the pedal. So it's a, it's not a huge deal, but it's definitely a concern and something to be aware of. Also, Cali just dropped these new jerseys. This is sick. They dropped the new blue helmet also. And also, Cali supports the channel, so go grab you something if you like it guys did we really find a fossil is this a real fossil or no you guys let me know is this a rhinoceros or a rhinoceros or <laughs> some kind of dinosaur oh this is pretty steep but it handles it here's a little rock section let's see how it handles and i pedaled through the whole thing oh i just got a rock strike <laughs> i was about to speak too soon i said i pedaled right through it and didn't get a pedal strike but I got one right at the end. Right, we just reached the intersection where you can go right to Floyd's Loop, that's blue. It's shorter, but it's more climbing and it's not as, as fun in my opinion. But Floyd's Loop going left with the black diamond, this is more of trail riding while you get to still go up. All right, dropping into Floyd's Loop, black diamond. I haven't been on this trail in a while because in the winter time, this is where the snow really sticks because you don't get that much sun back here. Oh my God. All right guys, let me lock in because that was almost bad. But the fact that this bike was able to handle that and keep me from falling down this mountain was pretty impressive. All right, let's do this. I'm not sure what that rattling is. Yeah, this is pretty gnarly. I haven't been back here in a while. And this is fun. Oh, this bike is a beast. Yeah, I'm getting getting a ton of pedal strikes. I'm so glad I came back here because this will really show you guys what it's like to climb technical stuff with this low bottom bracket. What you guys know about that balance though right there? Yeah, I think that rattling is the are the cables. Oh my goodness. 
go down this one. Yeah, this bike is pretty sick. I hope you guys don't get annoyed by this this noise. I don't understand why track bikes always have that problem. They ride really well, but they always have cables rattling and stuff. I don't know why. Seems like that's the only bike that usually has that issue, the track bikes. I gotta start taking this way more often. It's a little bit longer to get to the top, but it's a lot more fun. We just met a fellow rider and a subscriber to the channel, Wayne. Awesome meeting you. I really appreciate you calling my name because I had my headphones in, so I barely heard him. I was like, man, I hope he didn't think I was ignoring him. I heard him like at the last second. I probably shouldn't be wearing my headphones, but I like to wear them on the climb because it gets me through the grind. All right, guys, behind me, we have a super technical rock section. And I'm excited because I think this bike will do well. Also, it has adjustable headset, so you can angle it different kind of ways. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. But right now, we are gonna see what this bike can do on this craziness right here. Get it guys let me know what you think about the trek fuel x8 when it comes to this kind of stuff did it handle it well i think it handled it great we standing on top of the mountain baby getting ready to bomb down let's hit it i'm gonna hit the little rocky section down at the bottom too and keep straight so you guys can see the full section Yeah, so this section right here is pretty cool too. All right, guys, showtime. Let's see what this thing can do. Oh. This is smooth. It's really loose out here though. Dang, drop into a rock garden? That's crazy. <laughs> I've never hit that drop. Let me know if you, any of your guys' is bike. That was a sick drop. If you, any of your guys' bikes rattle like this with the cord, pretty sure this is these wires up front. Man, these brakes feel so good too. Super confident in the trail with these brakes. Oh, I always forget that's a drop right there. Wanted to hit it, but it's a little too late. Is this my new dream bike, guys? This is 
it just feels right if that makes sense like now i see why people are so hyped up on this bike because it definitely just it feels perfect on the trail oh yeah Hey, I want to go down this rock garden, but last time I fell and I don't want to risk messing this bike up. <laughs> yeah, this thing is no joke. It feels really nimble, like the bike feels light. this way but I guess I'm already here nice All my OG people who've been around for a long time, you probably remember that was the spot I fell. That was a long time ago, like three years ago. That was awesome, guys. This bike was worth the hype. I would say the only thing about this bike is the pedal strikes. Other than the pedal strikes, this bike is amazing. And pedal strikes are really not a big deal in my opinion, because as you become a better rider, you learn how to get, a, get around the pedal strikes. But that was pretty sick. <laughs>